Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining me for another Saturday morning edition of Jim Wilson's FNN Fishing News Network.com. And last week we said we were going to see Tanya's peacock, and somehow or other we had a little problem there, and the peacock didn't get on. But this week, before we leave, you're going to get to see Tanya's peacock sporting himself around and crowing, looking for a hen peacock, but I don't think he's going to find one hardly around here. But anyway, just to bring you up to date on some fishing, we are getting some decent reports of sheephead coming in. Lots, you'll see a lot of boats out there. Uh, Spanish mackerel are finally moving in, but we've got to have the water warmer. That's been the problem is the water's been so cold, it's been around 60. Now it's getting up 65, 70. I did go with some friends last week and we tried the steam plant canal, but all we caught were undersized gray snapper. Uh, I know there's trout in there somewhere, and I think we saw some jumping, but we just couldn't get them to bite over there. But that's all what happened then. Now we are warming up, and it's definitely going to be time to start looking, believe it or not, for cobia, pompano, and some of our offshore fish that come moving in, whether well, call them pelagics, because that's because they migrate, and they'll be coming along pretty quick. Freshwater fishing, on the other hand, has been outstanding. I was talking to Captain Alan Duke, who's been catching a lot of bass down in Lake Wimico and all the other places around the Apalachicola River system. And brim and shellcracker and crappie are also doing well. So there's a lot of good fishing going on there. And uh, we'll be telling you more as we go along about half hitch tackle because they've got the pin truck that comes around that's got all the new products and things that'll be here in Panama City on the 10th and 11th, right there on. on Thomas Drive, and then towards the end of the month, the annual Half Hitch Tackle Cobia Tournament will be going on at Lighthouse Marina. The uh, sign-up day and captain's meeting will be on Friday, and then the tournament itself will be a one-day tournament on Saturday, and of course, as always, we'll be on hand to see the way in and see the action. So that's all the stuff that's going on there. And let me tell you that it's just so much fun to be out here at Tool Time because they're going to be a new sponsor. And uh, what you're seeing behind me is why they call them site-built buildings. This is a building. All the parts are right here for a 10 by 12 building that will go to somebody's house and they'll put it all together and it'll be so much better and so much stronger and anchored better and at a lower average price than what's called a quote portable building and uh, we can't forget about our good friends at Tanya's Garden because uh, you'll hear Tanya herself when she comes on right there just before we go to the break telling you about all the specials and things that they have so stay with us because we're moving right along and uh, by the way I forgot to tell you, here's what the tides look like. And uh, thanks, Jay. <laughs> My producer, Jay, is always there to remind me. Take a look at tides, and uh, we'll be coming right back. You'll see Tanya and the peacock, and then right after that, we'll be coming back with James. So stay with us. For everything you need on or off the water, visit the Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Both locations provide you with easy access boat slips, ramps, fuel, bait, and tackle. Come visit our ship stores and see our unique nautical gifts and clothing. Or just relax with a cool drink and grab a snack while watching the boats come in. Don't forget that Mariner on your shopping list. Come by and see our unique nautical gifts, cards, and clothing at Panama City or St. Andrews Marina. Call 872-7272 for more information. Pete Henson Hindenburg, King of the Road at Baytown Tire, 2609 West 15th Street, just before the curve. For 20 years, he's taken care of your cars, trucks, and commercial vehicles. Baytown Tire carries tires including Michelin, Yokohama, BF, Goodrich, and Uniroyal. A new set gets free rotation every six months. Alignment is done on the latest digital equipment, and his diagnostic can read all your computer info for proper repairs. All his service folks are ASC certified. Give him a call today at 873-8900. Hi, this is Larry Lee from Coin and Bullion Reserves. Do you need to raise some quick cash? 
People from all over the southeastern United States have been doing that for over 39 years here at Corning Bullion Reserves, and here's how it's done. You go to your jewelry box, you get that old unused gold chain, you bring it to Coin & Bullion Reserves at the corner of East Avenue and 15th Street in Panama City, where you will get more for your gold than any place in the United States, and you can take that to the bank. When was the last time you took a few minutes out of your busy schedule to enjoy the simple things? The wide open spaces, the uncharted territory, the moments that seem to stick with you for a lifetime. Well, what are you waiting for? Half hitch, get out there. When you want your lawn to go from this to this, you need to call Leroy Dennis and his helper Bill Grimes. They can do it in one day. Not only that, but Leroy offers discounts to seniors and active and former military. He and his partner can handle any commercial jobs. Don't wait to give them a call at 358-6696. Guess what? If you aren't satisfied, I'll pay for it myself. Don't delay. Call the experts now and look great tomorrow. Hey, we're out here at Tanya, and uh, Tanya, is the peacock here today? Jim Wilson, he's right back there. Let me see if I can call him up. Well, wait a minute. Talk for, to me a minute. Okay. Tell me what some of the specials you got here at Tanya's Garden today. Oh, got good old vine ripe tomatoes out of Homestead, Florida. Got some good mustard, turnips, collards. Strawberries? A lot of good stuff. Good strawberries, squash, cubes. Cakes. Cakes. Come on down. All right. Get you some ham hocks to go with them. All right. Now, you got a, a strange peacock that wandered up here. Yes, we do. And you say he comes up about this time every afternoon. Yep, there he is coming up now. All right, let me hear you call him. Oh. 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 Is he coming? He's right there. I'm here this morning with James McConnell from Tool Time. Come on in here, James. How you doing? And we are not talking about portable buildings. We are talking about site buildings on site. And here's one right behind us. Yeah, um, well, they actually are uh, portable buildings, but the, the thing that makes them unique is we actually um, pre-built our walls, as you can see. Uh, we've got the wall, all four walls already built, metal on two of the walls. We've got the floor joist already pre-cut, uh, plywood, and, and everything we need to assemble the building at your house. Uh, the benefit of that is we can get this building anywhere that you want in your yard. And the, you can prove it because my house, my whole yard is fenced. I've got a small gate, but I have a 12 by 20 foot building that came in and looked just like this, and it was all put up in hours, less than a day. Yep, yep, that's right. Uh, um, what uh, a lot of people ask me, well, what's the smallest space you can get into? And uh, we actually walked into a guy's front door with the materials, walked out his back door, and built his shed in the backyard of his townhouse. Well, that's that is amazing because to tell you a little story about me, real quick, one time I bought a kit boat and it came as an aluminum boat. I lived up north. I brought it down the cellar, and by the time I put all the strip of ribs and everything on it, it wouldn't bend to go back out <laughs> in my garage. Couldn't get it out. But you do a better job than that. How many years have you been in business? Uh, a little over 10 years. Well, that's what I thought. And uh, you're the only one around here that does site built, aren't you? Uh, yes. Mo well, one of my competitors uh, does offer site built also. Um, but we, uh, we're the only ones that do it in the manner which you see behind you. And because you do all your own building, your prices are better because there's no middleman. That's correct. Uh, you know, the, the, the benefit of being uh, in, the, in the industry we're in, uh, which is building it on site, is that we don't have to buy it from a manufacturer, sit on our lot, and then have it delivered to your house as a whole unit. So it cuts out the middleman. And the other thing is you don't build just buildings. You can put up pole barns or whatever they want covers for uh, any kind of uh, 
Oh, our RVs and all those kind of things. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we can build any size building from one as small as you see here, which is an eight by 10 or 10 by 12. And people always ask me, well, what's, what's the biggest building you guys do? Well, I always tell them the biggest building we've built. And the biggest one we've ever built, and we just finished it actually for the crew of St. Andrews, is 50 feet wide and 176 feet long. Good gosh. Now that's a bit, you, you didn't have that all in parts. Yeah. No, no. We, of course, it was site built, though. Yes, and uh, <laughs> and of course, if, if you want to do a slab, you can have a cement slab poured. Yeah, that, yeah. And uh, but the other thing is the anchoring, because yours are anchored the same way as mobile homes. Well, yeah, that's true, and and, and most of them are anchored uh, with with mobile home tie downs. The the difference is when you build it on site. You, you, you've got the floor frame sitting on the ground with no plywood and you can put the anchors directly under the building which hold it down better than trying to push them in from the side which is typical for a, a, a delivery building. Well, exactly right and of course going, going down the road they're limited on the size they can haul down the road too. A, a, absolutely and, and the other the other benefit of, uh, of putting the anchors under the building is not just the tie down uh, strength but you know if you're walking around your shed and you got flip flops on and you kick that you know that big iron uh, anchor with your toe is going to hurt. Yeah, you're not kidding. Well, we've got my own building that we can see here, and folks can see how it's going up. And, sure. and of course, it's all three quarter inch decking. I mean, the floor. And, That's correct. And uh, a vinyl siding. And it, it's mine is eight years old, and it looks like brand new. Yep, yep. They, they, uh, the, the siding on them, all you have to do is pressure wash it, just like, a, just like vinyl siding. And what's the price starting at at the bottom end on these small buildings? Um, uh, the smallest one we're going to have is probably going to be right around fifteen ninety-five. Okay, and that would be for what size? Uh, that'd be uh, an eight by eight. Eight by eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, do you have payment terms? Uh, absolutely, we have the best payment terms I, I know for sure in town. Uh, reason being. Uh, we've got a company that uh, will offer a one down pa a one payment down payment. In other words, if you buy a building that let's say, you know, it figures out to be eighty nine dollars a month, well, your down payment is eighty nine dollars, and that's it. That's this building right here, isn't it? Uh, this one is probably about a hundred and eleven. Okay, so okay, I was looking at the other really small one. Yeah. Well, that's really great, and it's, it's thank you All to right. welcome you aboard as one of our new sponsors and. All right. uh, with Jay here, we're going to put all this stuff together for a yeah. good 30-second spot. All right. Glad to be back with you, Jim. All right. And say hello to Lynn for all me. All right. I will. I will. Thank you. We'll see you. And you all stay with us because we've got more of today's edition of Jim Wilson's FNN Fishing News Network coming back. Hi, this is Larry Lee from Coin and Bullion Reserves. Do you need to raise some quick cash? People from all over the southeastern United States have been doing that for over 39 years here at Coin and Bullion Reserves, and here's how it's done. You go to your jewelry box, you get that old unused gold chain, you bring it to Coin and Bullion Reserves at the corner of East Avenue and 15th Street in Panama City, where you will get more for your gold than any place in the United States, and you can take that to the bank. Meet Henson Hindenburg, King of the Road at Baytown Tire, 2609 West 15th Street, just before the curve. For 20 years, he's taken care of your cars, trucks, and commercial vehicles. Baytown Tire carries tires including Michelin, Yokohama, BF, Goodrich, and Uniroyal. A new set gets free rotation every six months. Alignment is done on the latest digital equipment, and his diagnostic can read all your computer info for proper repairs. All his service folks are ASC certified. Give him a call today at 873-8900. Captain Anderson makes fishing a breeze. There's a galley on board, and your comfortable trip is all-inclusive. Rod, reel, tackle, bait, and your fishing license. The traditional all-day trip from 7 to 5 p.m. Come aboard the Captain Anderson for a relaxing day of bottom fishing. There's plenty of room, so bring the whole family. It's a whopping big adventure, and that's no fish tail. The Captain Anderson is located at Captain Anderson's Marina, where the fish are always biting and the kids are always smiling. Please call for cruise schedules. When was the last time you took a few minutes out of your busy schedule to enjoy the simple things, the wide open spaces, the uncharted territory, the moments that seem to stick with you for a lifetime. Well, what are you waiting for? Half hitch. Get out there. 
When you want your lawn to go from this to this, you need to call Leroy Dennis and his helper Bill Grimes. They can do it in one day. Not only that, but Leroy offers discounts to seniors and active and former military. He and his partner can handle any commercial jobs. Don't wait to give them a call at 358-6696. Guess what? If you aren't satisfied, I'll pay for it myself. Don't delay. Call the experts now and look great tomorrow. Come on out tool time because they bring it in sections. They assemble it right on your property and uh, they're located out so you can see a display of all of the buildings that they build and, the, and carports and other things. They bring the sections, they assemble it, then they, then they add the floor, which is three quarter inch decking and it's all anchored the same way as a mobile home. That's a 12 by uh, 20 that I have. They start them out at eight by 10 and then go right on up and uh, all aluminum siding and uh, aluminum roof and it'll last a lifetime 48 inch door they build them in the spot so go see them give them a call and tell them we sent you and i'll be very very happy in a room we see a smoker king right over here now what's this young man's name michael hannah all right michael how much do you think it weighs um i don't know want to guess no i'll say it's going to weigh about 18 pounds 14.4. That's putting you up on top of the board. Thank you all for coming. And uh, while we're taking a little pause, we're coming. Boat number? Boat 24. And your name? Marky Tanner. Marky Tanner. Who? Marcus Tanner. Marcus Tanner. Marcus Hanna. Okay, Marcus Hanna. 10.4, and that's going to move you up to second place, my man. How about that? Big hand. Turn around, let the camera see it. Anybody there taking a picture of you? Marcus Hanna. Here comes the dad with the camera. Over there with Jim. All right. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. And I see another young man coming up here with one. Boy, this is a struggle. What's your name? Matthew Hanna. Matthew Hanna. And boat number? Uh, 24. Boat 24. Can you get it into the box? Lay him right down in here. You think it's going to be heavy enough to get on the board? You do? Well, you're right, because you are going to be in fourth place. 8.0, 8.0 pounds. Big hand for this young man. Get the fish, man. Haul him out there now. And turn around, because they want to get some pictures. Come on, we'll get right in here like that. There you go. Good job. Great. I guess you've got a good teacher, don't you? Downriggers today. All right, we're on. Uh, now we're on zero. Just lay them up here in the box. Keep your back straight. That's above slot landing. That's an ounce and a half. Woo! Here is a smoker. And uh, step around so you can see the scale there, young man. And can you see it now? 29.8 pounds. Hey, congratulations to both of you. Good job. Congratulations. Now, we, we need to, once you get it done, we need to have your hold on. So we're going to take a few pictures here. Take it out and hold it up to the camera. That's good. Can you get it out of the box? That's a king. Now right behind you is a video camera over there. Woo! That's a fish. And uh, who else needs some? In front of the radio. Yeah, over in front of the board. Oh, 
We're here and tell me your boat number. 17. Oh, 17. And your name? Billy Rich. Billy Rich. Billy Rick. All right. Now, swing around here. We've got a little video going and, and uh, the scales, let me turn them on. Let it get down to zero. And, oh, whose fish is this? Oh, okay. All right, let's put your fish in the box and uh, see if we're going to be playing some games up there or moving them around. 14.2 pounds. Come on over here with me so you can see the camera there. 14.2 pounds. Big hand, and that's going to move yeah. up to third place. Look at that. Nice. Second place is 14.4. You know that? 14.2. Now you are... Jesse Rich. All right, take yours out. And Jesse, bring yours on around here. We've got another nice smoker. And turn around here so the camera can see you. There you go, buddy. 11.0, and that'll put you into fourth place. All right. Woohoo. Fourth job. place. What do you think of that, buddy? Good job. It's pretty great. Nice Good job. Okay, brother, where's your brother, Steve? We want to get a picture of you together. A little video. Can you get it out of the box? And uh, come on over here with me. Right, right in here. To the camera right there. Come stand here with me. And uh, we'll get a little video, and then I bet somebody will like to take a picture of the two of you together. Right out there. What do you think, guys? Oh, uh, yeah. Boy, there's a couple of nice things right there. Nice job, fellas. All right. Hey, boys, come over here in front of the board for me. You got a man with your fish. Right over here. Here. Right towards me. And what boat number are you? 18. Your name? John? Who? Me. All right, John. Bring your fish around here, and we're going to put it in the box. Bring it this way, and it'll be on TV right there. Hey, John. And Show John, me that fish. Beautiful. Fish Ooh, that's a nice fish. Looks like a good one. I think I see some movement going on. Oh, no. John, I hate that. Don't you hate it when that happens? What happened, Jim? 9.2, 9 9.0, 9.0, uh, but it's a beautiful fish, a big beautiful fish, John. Who knows, you might be the mystery weight winner. That's true. You know that? Jim, Jim what's fourth place? What? What's fourth place in King? The fourth place right now is 11 pounds. Ah, oh, buddy, you missed it just a couple pounds. fifth place, fifth place is 10.4. So, you so there you go, John. Congratulations, are you full heart? Yeah. How long are you taking to get him in? Uh, about 15 minutes. I believe it. How old are you? 11? Nine. You're wow, not old. You're a tall fella. Boy, oh, good boy. All right. For a long time. And yeah. Tell me some of your history of fishing. What's the most exciting fish you've ever caught? Turn around. Turn around and look at the camera. Right here, buddy. A 37 pound grouper. You caught a 37 pound grouper? Wow, buddy. Did they have to tie your legs down to the boat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I really did. How much do you weigh? 87 pounds. 87. You're not weighing about 50 pounds. That's a fine fish. I'm glad to know that you're a good fisherman and you'll be doing it all your life, I can tell. It's a great sport. How long did it take you to get that one in, buddy? Uh, this one only took me 15 minutes. No, the grouper. Oh, that one? It took me half, um, about an hour to get in. 
Wow. Just shows you there's, by the way, as I always say, there's no age limit on fishermen. And you probably want to take some pictures of you over by the board. Here, you got a big jackerel? Yep. Ooh, yeah. Brandon, tell me who you're fishing with today. Okay, I'll get it. Brandon Fuller. Boat number 12. Look, cover up that name on that tour. It says Jim Wilson. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, somebody may name you that fish. Quick, put it back in the box. 1.4. <laughs> Hi, here's some some of our fans that are here today. Girls, tell me your names. Madison. Madison? And who? Carissa. Carissa. It's so nice to have you here. Are you enjoying this today, girls? Now, why are you here today? I'm here because um, my dad, friend, and my brother's friend, my brother in the competition, and he's here with me. All right. Come on, man. 